What is up guys, Jeremy from The New Age. I am back yet again with another tutorial. This one I took on, um, I took on the, I took on the big one, the big one, the one that's taken me like six weeks to figure out how to do, but with the success of our last video, which was the FIFA one, thank you all again. Uh, I decided to take it on. Uh, this is how to use a PS4 controller for Mass Effect on PC. Let's go. All right, guys, so this one is a little complicated. I'm gonna try to keep this as clearly and concise as I possibly can, but make sure you're paying attention because this is very tricky, okay? But this method does work, so let's get into it, okay? Let's go. All right, so. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna need to download DS4 Windows, okay? It's a program called DS4 Windows. Uh, just go to Google, DS4 Windows. Right there. DS4 Windows, first one. Go right here. Download now. I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to do it, but you just download it right here. Okay, and I'm not using any, any, any special version of DS4 Windows. Okay, so once you've done that, the next thing you're going to do is just, just download it. Just download it and extract it right wherever wherever you keep that type of those type of files, okay? After that, you're going to need to come to this. This is called Nexus Mods. You will have to sign up for an account. It's free. Just do it. It's no big deal. Nexus Mods. Link will be in the description for this, okay? So this is the Mass Effect 2 Mods right here, okay? So this is for Mass Effect 2. And you're going to get your instructions down here, but you right here. And I basically follow these instructions, but I do deviate a little bit. So pay more attention to me than this page. Next thing you're going to do, go to files. Okay. There's two of these, two of these you're going to have to download because one doesn't work for some reason. And I had, it took me months to figure this out. Okay. So the main, the first one you're going to do is this main files right here. This top one, go ahead and download that. It's going to take you to our little download page. That's fine. Slow download is fine. It's going to download just as fast as a regular download. Okay, so there you go. And then click the back button, and we're going to wait until this finishes downloading. Okay, so this is the first one. We're going to clearly label these. Okay, this is the most recent one. So that has just finished up. All right, let's go show in folder here. My downloads folder, uh, ME2 controller. This is a seven zip file, so you're gonna have to have seven zip on your on your machine, but just right click seven zip, go to extract here. Okay, so let's extract that right here. And then we're gonna get rid of this. Don't need this. So here it is right here. And I'm gonna rename this, okay? ME2 controller, and I'm gonna put new on this one. That way we know which one is which, okay? ME2 controller new. Now, back to the Nexus Mods page. You are also going to download the oldest one, okay? Right here, this top one right here, um, February 7, 2016. Download that. Go to manual download. Slow download. And there we go. All right, now this one is wrapped up. Go show in folder. We're gonna extract this one. Seven zip, extract here. Very important you follow my steps on this, okay? Delete the seven zip file. Okay, so we have the new one. That was the first one we downloaded. This is the old one, okay? So we're gonna go old on this one. Select them both. We're going to move them to our desktop. There we go. Now, we know which one's which. They are separated. They are labeled. We like that. All right. Now, this I'm using this in Origin, but this should work in Steam as well. Okay? 
So origin mass effect 2 is completed downloading the first thing and always open origin as an administrator anyway this is done i'm gonna move this out of your out of our way here here's mass effect 2 the first thing you're gonna do is run it before you install anything run this game okay because it has to update the dlc okay so let's run it Not sure why that's showing is like half my screen. It's uh, the full screen on my monitor. So anyway, you'll see no native controller support. It, this so press any key to continue. You have to do it on the keyboard. Let's let this update. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got it. So go exit. All right, now, here's what we're going to do. Go to your game files. This PC. Yours is probably in this C drive, program files. Mine is not. I installed it on a separate hard drive. So, Origin Games, Mass Effect 2. Okay, we have opened this up. Now, in the new, new download, right here, controller, new. We already labeled that. Okay. Pull this up right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this down a little bit so we can see. All right, so here we go. We have our bio game folder here, bio game folder here, okay? So open that up, open that up. This is our game file, this is our download. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drag this over. Replace the file in the destination, yes. Cooked PC, drag it over. Place the files in the destination. Okay. DLC. Replace files in the destination. Easy, right? All right. So let's go back. Okay. Mass Effect 2. Just make sure we're in our main game file here. I don't know why you have to do it this way, but I've tried it every other way, and this is how you have to do it. Now let's open the old one. Mass Effect 2 controller old. Mass Effect controller, old. Bio game, config, oops. Open up bio game again. Config, replace the files in the destination. Cooked PC, replace the files in the destination. DLC. Select them all, bring them over, replace the files in the destination. There we go. Okay. One more thing, very important that we have to do. Let's close out our game file. Open up a new window here. Okay. Go to your documents folder. This is in bio, Bioware, Mass Effect 2, Bio Game, Config. You'll see this right here, right? Here's what we're going to do. Open up our config, drag this PC file right over. Just like that. PC goes in the config in your documents. That is very important. Okay, now go back, exit these out, get these up out of the way. All right, now, next step, DS4 Windows. It's still in my downloads folder, that's where I keep it. DS4 Windows, open it up. Open it, all right? Here's your controllers right here. See where it says hide DS4 controller? Uncheck that. There you go, minimize it. Okay, should see it down here in your little tray. DS4 Windows, just minimize it, don't close it. Then we can close this. Mass Effect 2, right click, run as administrator. See what happens. Now it says press start. So I'm gonna press start on my controller. I'm using it, hang on, let me show you. Mass Effect, all right, so, my controller. New game. 
this is where a lot of people using the other methods got errors, okay? You could get the controller working, but you couldn't start a new game. For some reason. Really annoying. I just leave all this. It works. It works. How you like that? How you like that, guys? Boom, just like that. We did another one. We did another one. Let's go. So how do you like that, guys? We did another one. We got another one working. Let's go. Woo! Anyway, that one took me weeks to figure out. Weeks. If we did the thing is is the weird part about it that everyone's gonna say, I know you what you guys are gonna say, why do you guys got why do you gotta download two of them? Why do you gotta put the ones from the old or from the new one in first and then replace them with the ones from the from from the the old one? Why do you gotta do that? Listen, I know it doesn't make any fucking sense. I get it. I, I completely I understand that. This is the only way I've been able to get it working. The only way. Okay, so follow those steps. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. I'll try to answer all of them. Again, it's very important that you follow step by step exactly how I did it. It will not work. It will work. And then you'll be able to go to a new game and the whole fucking game will crash. Okay, that's the only way that I figured out how to do it. Anyway, again, thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Smash the subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. We got more tutorials coming out. We got podcasts dropping. We got music coming from Boom. Follow me on Twitch. Follow me everywhere. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.